As we take a look at the tail of the tape between these two lightweights, Gonzalez a little older and the taller fighter, but pretty much an even matchup. Definitely. Two guys at the start of their career. Uh, we'll see whether this, uh, this is the big stage to see if they kind of rise to the occasion. Our third man in the ring will be Dane Furuta. Gonzalez will be in the dark black trunks. Myers in the black and gray trunks. Pretty even the match between these two. Gonzalez doing a short combination to start off the, the bout. This little right hook there. Left himself open as they tie up. They're feeling the fighters out. So it was like kind of like light little test kicks and um, you're open to a on a right in these three five minute rounds how much do you kind of feel out your opponent in the first round because these guys are pretty new to the um, you know pro level and you're probably going to see that maybe possibly in the entire first round here oh right, he'll start firing off yeah, as soon as they say that yeah you see why he's called machine gun as they go up against the cage there he's throwing but he's also looking a lot of guys kind of closer to Heiser kind of just fire all you can kind of see him um, definitely aiming for his partner, trying to catch that chin. Gonzalez, who has his man up against the cage, had a four and four amateur record before he turned pro, just back in June. Been quite active, getting two pro fights in two months. This would be his third in three months. I forgot it does a, um, you know. Oh, nice, nice right hand by. Meyer. You got to train to Jack, you know, Jackson Wingle John. You have so many fighters there. You know, I, I'm sure it's pretty hard to get fights, or you got to kind of take them by yourself, or hopefully have a good manager to kind of push fights for you. The wild swings Ooh. by Gonzalez. Straight right hand by Meyer. It's a little bit of a bruise or some redness yeah. below the right eye. Is that some blood trickling, trickling down? Oh, a big right hand. Oh, good job by Gonzalez just to get up. Looked like he was going to the mat. Straight punches is kind of um, doing well. And I can see that is a gash below the right eye of Juan Gonzalez, who is now fighting up against the cage. Gonzalez just tries to wipe a little bit of the blood away. A lot of redness there under the right eye. He's doing a good job at uh, countering, landing that right, right in that high too. If you're Myers, you just paint a bullseye there, right for the right eye. Hopefully you can catch him with the with the left. Yeah, see, he's trying to do that, but nicely blocked by Gonzalez. Right hand there, right guys. Oh, and a throwdown by Gonzalez and a bull rush right up against the cage. Nice follow with that double leg. Now does Gonzalez, a little bit of payback as Meyer flips him over. As Gonzalez wanted to rein in some punches and Meyer said, I'll have none of that. And a little too aggressive, that top section, you know, he didn't secure his position instead of um, punching. Uh, did a good job at uh, securing top position. Now let's see if he can cause some damage. As he is half guard now. He's got a little butterfly hook, which is that left leg underneath the thigh. He can use it to lift, create some space if he needs to, maybe sweep. He did a good job tying up that right arm of Kyle Myers. That's the power hand right there. Elbow by Meyer, doesn't hit. Now he's in the full guard. Looks like he's setting up a triangle here if he pushes that 
hand down and just step over with that left leg over the top. You know, we mentioned that uh, Donald Cerrone was in uh, Gonzalez's corner, but I don't hear any uh, type of coaching going on. I actually hear a pin drop in here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure everybody's kind of intent here. But all concern for Gonzalez would be the, the cut under his right eye right now as he rolls over. And now he is in a dominant position. Starting to throw down some punches, looking for the up kick. Nice pass. Good posture. Going to go through the mount pretty soon, I think. He's got side control, trying to get a mount. But time is winding down here in the first round. First of three. Oh, nice little right hook. Good opening round for Myers and Gonzalez. Both trading good punches. A couple of takedowns. Here, but um, a lot of good exchanges. Let's take a look at a replay of uh, some of the action from round one. Nice straight right. Got that laser focus on that. I was just checking to see if the cut came before that, and it certainly did. Might have caught him with the with the glove. Might have ripped the eye. Here's the the takedown. Rush, yeah, he did a good job, eh? like tying up those legs, securing that takedown, getting in top position. Well, you know, I asked Gonzalez before the fight. He says he wanted to finish Meyer <laughs> in the first round. <laughs> well, that prognostication did not come true because we're ready for round number two. Gonzalez from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and Meyer from the Hamakua Coast on the Big Island. Glad you're watching wherever you are on Spectrum Pay-Per-View. Russell Shimoka along with Mike Unzuka. This is X1 48. Live from the Blaisdell. Gonzalez in the dark black. Meyer in the black and gray. See if Meyer goes back to those straight rights at counter. He's gonna try to time that kick. Extremely successful in that first round. Maybe those leg kicks are starting to kind of take its toll. Oh, just missed with that right hand. Two youngsters in the in the ring right now. Third professional fight for Gonzalez. Second pro fight for Meyer. Stuck in a right hand right there. Did Gonzalez? Meyer actually had a very good amateur record at five in one. A purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu that he takes over there on the Big Island. Seemed pretty neutral in the clinch. Nobody's really getting an advantage. Because doing a good job at uh, throwing those straight rights and landing. Quite the boxer was Meyer in his younger days. Competed in the Golden Gloves. That was a really stiff jab. Really, really good jab. He needs to go back to those leg kicks. A tie up, a knee to the, oh, might have caught him in the cup. And Dane Furuta calls a timeout in the action. Might have been a knee right to the, the groin era. And just by the look of Meyer's face, it was. So the protocol here is they'll have up to five minutes, right? Yes, five minutes to recover. And um, pretty sure you should be able to go on here. So after the knee, a little south of the border, good sportsmanship exhibited by both fighters. And we're back to action here. Oh, and a big right hand right there. Found the face of Gonzalez. Myers is not doing, his, he's not checking any of those kicks. So every one of those leg kicks are landing. And as the fight goes on, he's going to lose his mobility, possibly lose some power in his hands. He can't push off of that back right leg or left leg.
Oh, a big knee right to the jaw of Meyer. Good knee by Gonzalez. Blood is coming down from the cut under the right eye of Gonzalez. I was just going to say, for a boxer, the Meyer just wasn't moving a lot, just staying stationary right in front of his opponent. Yeah, could be fatigue. I think the difference between these guys, the three-minute rounds in amateur and then going to fives, they could still be acclimating themselves and, and uh, learning how to pace themselves with the, oh. the action intensity. That was a big left hand by Meyer right on the chin of Gonzalez. As Gonzalez now goes for the, a shoot attempt, but he pins his man up against the fence. He's got his hands clinched, you're able to pull him off. Nice balance. Usually clinch the hand behind is very, very difficult to, to stop that takedown. They did a good job of kind of creating space, the hand slipped out. Trying to use that underhook to elevate. Nice right. spin out there. Do it. Right. Do it. <laughs> oh, big, big left hand. Found the chin of Meyer. You're very right. He has a very stiff jab as he landed that one. Very, very powerful. Well, as with anything, with young professionals, I mean, there's a there's a learning curve, there's a learning process that uh, all fighters have to go through. And it's a good thing you're doing against someone who has of equal experience, not being thrown in into the wolves with a guy who has like 12 or 15 professional fights. Definitely, I think this is a a, a really really well matched up um, fight here. You know, both guys. Um, a good stand up. They're kind of negating each other against the fence and in the clinch. Um, you know, both are kind of losing some position on the ground, but you know, and that looks a little bit slippery. And uh, they're scrambling well too. 15 seconds left to go here in round number two. Let's see who finishes very strong here to end the round. A lot of punches thrown, but not a lot of scoring there right at the end. Good but, head but, but the knee, the knee did get in there. Definitely. Yeah. That was good head movement. Avoided a lot of punches by that head movement. You can see these fighters slowly, you know, slowing down a little bit this round. Some aggression, but a lot of the punches there are, are missing, except for a little left hook landing. Nice left oh. hook right there. That yeah, that was that left hand. And then the sprawl attempt against the fence. So Meyer, 28 years old, trying to improve his professional record to two and one. Gonzalez trying to keep perfect as well. As this will be the third and final round. And we get a round of applause from the crowd here at the Blaisdell. And we get the fighting action now that all the pleasantries are over with. Oh. Nice right hand. Goes back to that. Right hand is working well in the first round. Got him again. Got him again again. Nice combination there by Meyer. Starting to perk up here in the third round. Those leg kicks, as you mentioned, by Gonzalez were very effective in the early in rounds one and two. Let's see if he goes back to that. Trying to do a push kick. I don't know if he's worried about the counter. Well, Myers has been doing a good job at uh, countering that leg kick. So I'd be a little gunshot with that leg kick now. Ooh, nice team. One thing that hasn't bothered Gonzalez thus far is that little cut that he sustained in the first round, right under the right eye. It seems that Meyer just hasn't taken full advantage of him. Well, he's doing a good job. He's um, he throwing you know, punches and bunches. Yeah, you can kind of tell that's a well-bred um, boxer. 
instead of just pawing out one. He's mixing up his levels, changing the punches from straights to hooks, doubling up his jab. And speaking with Meyer, he talked about some of the big inspirations for him to get into the MMA game as he just took a, a nice right hand from Gonzalez. Really looked up to the, the Big Island fighters like Ross the Boss Ibanez and Mike Aina. Guys who were both role models inside and outside the ring for MMA. Two great, great guys. They're great fighters, but even greater guys outside the ring. Absolutely. We'll actually see Ross the Boss Ibanez coming up. He'll be in the corner of uh, uh, Mizuguchi. Russell Mitsuguchi, who comes from the Big Island. <laughs> you guys are just having fun out there. Yeah, they sure are. I'm surprised he would try that type of kick. He's been slipping a lot on the logo yeah. there. You guys are trying to find each other's chins, man. Gonzalez going back to the jab. Nice body shot there by Meyer. Oh, left himself open. Caught a little bit of the ear there. It's a nice long. Oh! Nice straight right back there. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Acknowledge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gonzalez acknowledged it. That found its mark. Oh, Gonzalez got a nice little left hand there. Is that leg kick on the right? I think these two fighters are just content with just having this to stand up. The fight went to the ground only in the first round. After that, it has pretty much been stand and bang. Nothing with a hook there. It's also a nice long hook. Been trying for a while on the break. Attempt to take Meyer down right there. Nice oh. combo. Well, that was right up against his right eye, right where that cut is. Good scoring by Meyer. Oh, nice left hook. Well, Meyer is a hook on the Big Island. Sure, he'd like to serve up a little Hawaiian hospitality here. Give him some nice leap. Nice left hook. Take down the tap by Gonzalez as uh, Meyer has what he has done all fight long is great defense as they do go to the ground. Oh, nice sweep. Good switch. Trying to get his back is Meyer. Good job scrambling that. Very secure his position. I was getting involved right here. Yeah, 10 seconds left. Nice. Now they're going to go. Oh, Ooh. that's a big left hand. Oh, both fighters swinging for the benches <laughs> and another right swap in there. And they can't even hear the oh. bell as the bell sounds. And they put on an excellent slugging ex exhibition right at the end. What a great finish. These guys are standing there. Holy Finish cow. strong, man. Finish strong. That was a great finish. Kind of woke up this crowd. Woke us up. Yeah. Nothing better for a guy who's like tired from the second going to third and the crowd kind of gets involved and energizes these two guys and they definitely delivered. I think you, let's take a look at the, at the replay. Hopefully it's uh, at the last couple of seconds of the, uh, of the fight here. This is going to be earlier in the round. Feeling out that left hook there. Yeah. He scored a couple of times. Here's, here's the final... 15 seconds of the fight as both fighters letting their fists fly. Stiff jab again. Oh, 
Oh, is that right? Well, this wasn't the last ticket. It was but maybe the last round. <laughs> Let's hear the decision. After three hard-fought rounds, the judges have scored this contest for your winner by unanimous decision, Juan Gonzalez. And a round of applause for Kael Meyer. So Juan the Demon Gonzalez runs his record to 2-0 and oh with a decision win over Kaleo Meyer. Fantastic win, gritty win over a tough opponent. What do you think about your performance tonight? Uh, I mean, great fighter. I already told him right now I want to do it again. So How many of you want to see that again? How about we make him do one more round right now? <laughs> Easy for him to say, huh? All right, guys. I I want to thank, uh, of course, Cowboy Cerrone. Uh, last year, I've been living at the BMF Ranch, and uh, that, it, it totally changed my life, man. And uh, I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Juan Gonzalez, ladies and gentlemen.